All right, so now we're ready to add our blocks to our Android Zoo app. And just like the first app we created, you'll notice that the components that you added to your components viewer are going to be listed under the My Blocks tab. So we'll go there first. And the first action we want to perform is for our kitty button to do something. So we're going to click on our kitty button and we'll grab when the kitty button is clicked. So when the kitty button is clicked, what do we want it to do? Well, we want the kitty sound to happen. So we're going to go to the kitty sound and we're going to grab kitty sound dot play and we're going to plug that in the kitty button click box. Now that very simple action of when the kitty button is clicked, what do we want it to do? We want it to play the kitty sound is actually completed. And we can go ahead and do that for our lion and our tiger as well. So we'll go to the lion button. When that's clicked, we want the lion sound to play. And with our tiger button, when that's clicked, we want our tiger sound to play. And it's really that simple. All of our blocks are now in place, so let's go ahead and drag in our emulator. And when we click on our kitty, we get a meow sound. When we click on our lion, we get the lion sound. And when we click on the tiger, we get the tiger sound. Great, so everything's up and running, everything's working properly. What we're going to do next is take care of this jumbled mess of images right here. You can see that everything's all smushed together. There's no spaces between the images. All the images are right up on the top of the screen. And in our next video, I'm going to show you how to change the graphic layout so that this looks a little bit nicer.